What's up everyone, my name is John Marshall and I'm a web developer. One of the biggest issues I face daily is creating beautiful websites in terms of UI and UX. And now you might ask me, hey Jan, why is it hard? Well, it's quite simple. Good websites are not one thing, but actually good websites are a combination of several factors. Like for example, typography, colors, uniqueness, accessibility, and many other factors. And now the question comes, how can we create good looking websites websites, nice looking websites if we are not designers? Well, the answer is very simple, hire a designer. No, I'm kidding of course. There's an even better solution and the solution is to use components which have already been built, which are accessible, good looking and which are very fast to implement. And what I want to do in this video is share five component libraries which made my life way simpler and which will make your life even simpler. Now all of these component libraries are completely free to use, you don't have to pay anything and now I think we can get started with the first component library. Now the first component library I want to share with you is Scherzin UI. Now let's be honest, Scherzin UI is nothing new, most of us have used Scherzin UI, it has gained a lot of popularity through and through YouTube, through tutorials. I have used it in a lot of tutorials and in general it's a great library. Now Shadzin UI offers a lot of accessible and beautifully designed components. Everything from a button component, calendar, charts uh, which are built using read charts. Also for example you of course have sliders. Just your basic components which you need for your websites. The components itself are built using clean code which is very important for us and just in general it's very easy to implement and that's what we want. Now what I love about Shards in UI is the attention to detail but also the easy customization. What I mean with that is that Shards in UI offers a theme section where you can customize your theme to your liking. So for example a blue theme or a violet theme, an orange theme, whatever works for your website. Alright and now the second component library I want to share with you is components.bridger.to. It's built using Craft, Shards in UI, TypeScript and Tailwind CSS which is great. Again we love Tailwind CSS, you probably also love it. And it offers everything from Hero, CTA, FAQ section, header section and footer section. It has a very minimalistic look. Nevertheless, I think it's quite unique and quite cool because many components which I see or many websites that I see on a daily basis are completely overloaded with right here banner and there pop up and this and that. Right here components.bridger.to tries to create a minimalistic look and I highly appreciate it. Again, the code is very clean, it's very easy to implement and that's what we appreciate as developers. Now components.widger.to is a perfect solution for people who want a minimalistic look, a very easy to implement solution. The components are responsive, they look great out of the box and you don't have to change a lot or you don't have to customize a lot to make them look nice. Alright, since we have now talked about the second component library, let's now continue to the third component library. And the third component library is magicui.design. Now magicui is a component library which is more on the fancy side of things because for example it implements frame or motion which allows you to create very smooth and very nice looking animations. So if you're looking to add very cool, very smooth and very fancy animations to your website, well then Magic UI is your best play or your best bet. Magic UI offers a wide range of components, everything from nice looking buttons, so for example the shimmer button, up to for example a globe which I personally like a lot as you see right here on my screen it looks very very beautiful and also for example other components like a tweet card which you can implement very beautifully in your website. Again Magic UI is a bit on the fancy side it isn't very minimalistic but I sometimes also appreciate such design, again with such animations. Alright, and we're now done with the third component library, let's now continue to the fourth component library. And the fourth component library is called ui.lukacho.com, at least that's how I think it's pronounced. At first I thought it's lukashenko.com, if you know who that is, you know, but yeah, that's the fourth component library. This is again more on the fancy side, it again implements frame or motion to allow you to create very smooth animations 
animations and very fancy animations. As you see right here in the components, one thing which I really liked right here was for example the animated SVG chart. So as you see it animates very beautifully and if you look at the code it's again very smooth and it's also ready for Next.js 15 and React 19 or 18 whatever you use since it has the use client directive. Also what I really liked was actually the Figma cursor. So you see it looks exactly like the Figma cursor that you know from the website and just in general again it's very very cool. One more component which I really liked right here was the background lights. So if you look at it, it looks very smooth, very beautiful and I think this component works beautifully for a SaaS website. Alright, so we have now covered four component libraries. Let's now come to the last component library, the fifth component library and also my favorite component library and the fifth component library is called animator.design in my opinion this is the most beautiful the most sophisticated component library that i've ever seen for free again it's free check it out it's so beautiful i've never seen something like that now animator.design offers a lot of components so for example if we check it out one thing which i really liked was the blurry bob so as you see this is the gradient which is moving looks very very nice another thing which i liked was the bento grid so right here you can click for example on the bento grid 3 so right here we have three boxes and this is the bento grid and again right here you see these animations which were created using frame or motion and they are just very smooth of course they also offer buttons and they also work very smoothly as you see the animations are just great i can't really complain they're so smooth i couldn't really rebuild them myself and then another thing which animator.design offers which i've never seen with any other component library were the widgets so right here you can click on widgets overview and right here you now see the widgets which it offers they look exactly as the ones from apple and they have also beautiful animations very very smooth as you see everything looks beautiful everything has a great design you see that someone professional has created them and if you click right here on the code again you can just copy it and i've tested it out the code is very clean and it just works one thing which i also mentioned right here is that animator.design offers a lot of components so i just showed a few ones but they also offer for example cards so right here you see this card which has beautiful animations they offer charts right here they offer hero section animator.design is the most sophisticated component library with great animations that i've ever seen in my life for free all right everyone there we have it five component libraries which will make your life way easier which will create beautiful websites for you and which will produce clean code each library offers unique design unique animations which means you can choose the perfect library for your website now if you know more component libraries which are unique have a good design have fancy animations or just have clean code then please let me know in the comments down below so that i can learn something and that also other community Community members can find out about other component libraries and if you now enjoyed this video I would highly appreciate a like a subscription which is free and if you want to maybe consider becoming a channel member to access videos as this this or this or this one right here and now I hope you enjoy your day and I hope I can see you on the next video so bye